unraveling the battle of wits, an engaging exploration. Hello, everyone, welcome to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English phrases and idioms. Today, we're going to explore a very intriguing phrase, battle of wits. This expression is not just about conflict, but it's a clash of intelligence and strategy. Stay tuned to discover its meaning, origins, and how you can use it in your daily conversations. The phrase, battle of wits, refers to a situation where two or more people are engaged in a mental competition. It's not about physical strength but about using cleverness, intelligence, and strategy to outsmart the opponent. Imagine a chess game, where each move is carefully thought out, not just a random act. This metaphor extends to debates, clever arguments, or any scenario where mental agility is key. The term, battle of wits, has been around for centuries, and its usage can be traced back to literary works and historical events where clever strategy played a crucial role. Think of famous political debates or historical figures known for their sharp intellect. Over time, the phrase has found its way into everyday language, often used to describe scenarios like negotiations, business tactics, or even friendly banter. Let's see how you can incorporate battle of wits into your everyday speech. The legal case turned into a battle of wits between the two lawyers. Playing that strategy game is like a constant battle of wits with my friends. The political debate was a true battle of wits, with each candidate showcasing their knowledge. For English learners, understanding such phrases can be challenging yet rewarding. Here are some tips. Listen for context clues when you hear battle of wits in conversations or media. Practice using the phrase in different scenarios to become comfortable with its meaning and usage. Remember, idiomatic expressions like this add flavor to your language skills and help you sound more like a native speaker. We hope this exploration of the battle of wits has been enlightening and enjoyable for you. This phrase is a perfect example of how language can be used to express complex ideas in a simple and engaging way. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to engage in your own battle of wits using the English language. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.